is up YouTube, it's your girl Tone Scorpion, you guys another video, and today we are talking about some Call of Duty esports. Specifically, the major that just happened this past weekend. The winner from this past weekend was kind of obviously Atlanta Phase. I mean, I really don't feel like anyone really else had, other than like Dallas Empire, who they went up against in the finals, had the ability to win. I mean, if you think about it, Atlanta Phase has really gone undefeated this whole season, um, even in pool play and whatnot. So, them winning was kind of just... Like, it meant to be, I guess. Atlanta Phase was a dominant force last year, and it's kind of not surprising that they carried this into this year, especially since Crowder has really tightened down on their training and their scrims. Like, there's no fooling around. There's a, it's a, He's a no BS type policy, which I think is really going to help them in the future. Uh, not just in the future, but right now as well. Um, pretty much every single, pretty much every single, like, match they had was a complete smoke show. I mean, they did, like, they, what... Two of them were three O's, and then the final was a five to two. It really, it there wasn't really any competition to phase this weekend. Some matches that really surprised me were the LA Thieves versus the LA Gorillas. I really like a thousand percent thought that LA Thieves was gonna win that just based off of like talent alone. But the fact that they didn't, and then they went off to like just winning against Ultra and then fall to Optic was just kind of. And the thing is, is they. Were, or they are a good team, but I think they had a little bit of things this weekend that they needed to touch on and just fix up in practice and scrims. Another match that surprised me was when the Sublighters went back up against Optic after they lost in winner's round, well, in the winner's bracket, and Subliners 3 owed Optic, and I was like, what? Like, why? Like, I, I know, like, Optic, like, they have their moments or whatever, but, like, You've got Seth, you've got Envoy, you've got Formal, you've got Dashy on that team, and you're losing to the Subliners. I mean, go Clay. That, that team is really cleaned up from last year, and I believe whoever, like, whoever's in charge over there, I really don't know who, but they're making good moves as far as recruiting, especially this year. Um, Subliners looking a lot better from where they were before. I think maybe, 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 just maybe, Clayster's fine. Like, kind of put a fire under their belt just to be like, oh, we're going to win. We got, I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone. It barely makes any sense to me, but it's fine. So now after the major, the standings are in first place, Atlanta Phase, second, Dallas, Optic, Subliners, LA Thieves, LA Gorillas, which is very surprising, the LA Gorillas being uh, like in one of the top teams, um, especially like in the top half of the, the top half of the, um, the board, because just from like previous years and everything, um, like previously, like last year, the LA Gorillas were on the bottom. And the fact that they're now near the top is quite crazy to me. Then Rocker, Mutineers, Ultra, Ferris, Seattle, and then London at the bottom. Still not winning anything. The fact that London still has not won at all is kind of sad. It's kind of sad. Like, let, let's get a win here, London, or you're... It's just not looking good for them at this point. Now these players have a week off, which should have been their rest time, but now all of them have to grind even harder because the meta has now... Like, the meta has to be changed now because they just GA'd the XM4, which is really great because, like, usually, like, the meta guns are the MP5 and the XM, or the M4. So now that, like, the game is, like, n not the MP5 and the M4, it's just a whole different game. And it's nice to have, like, that little bit of a break. But at the same time, these players have to now go into scrims for the next week, find the new meta gun, and then use it and find ways to, you know actually be good with it. These next few events with these uh, GAs will definitely be interesting to see for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment down below who you thought should have won last weekend. I mean, honestly, I kind of thought FaZe, for real. Either that or the Alice Empire, just because of previous performances. But definitely, I think FaZe won, and they deserved it as well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 100 subscribers. I'm so close. You guys should just get me over the top. That'd be amazing. I would really appreciate it. See you guys next time. Peace.